now let's start a new chapter division division first we have to uh, uh, first we have to know the definition of division what is the division otherwise division division is the repeated subtraction i'll repeat division is the repeated subtraction for example 6 is divided by 2 is equal to 3 again i'll tell you 6 is divided by 2 is equal to 3 while you go for the subtraction 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 and 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 so how many times 2 comes that is 1 time 2 time that is 3 time so 3 time it comes the answer is also 3 so that is what the definition is given division is the repeated subtraction 6 is divided by 2 will get 3 or else while you go for the subtraction 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 and 2 minus 2 equal to 0 so we will see some other sum for example 10 is divided by 2 the answer is 5 because you have to see the two tables that is 1 2 is a 2 and 2 2 is a 4 and 3 2 is a 6 and 4 2 is a 8 and 5 2 is a 10 that is the answer so we have to say the multiplication table 10 is divided by 2 we have to two tables we have to say 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 2 4 is a 8 and 2 5 is a 10 so what is the answer 2 5 is a 10 the answer is 0 so so 10 is divided by 2 will get the answer is 5 now I go for subtraction because division is repeated subtraction so 10 minus 2 we will get 8 8 minus 2 we will get 6 6 minus 2 will we will get 4 again 4 minus 2 we will get 2 and 2 minus 2 we will get 0 the how many times 2 comes 1 time 2 time 3 time then 4 time then 5 times the answer is 5 that's the right answer okay and also now we are going to discuss about the terms of division what is terms of division that is dividend divisor quotient reminder so these are the major terms you must know and you must learn you must learn that is terms of division so dividend so dividend what is the meaning of dividend the number which we are dividing is called a dividend I'll repeat the number which we are dividing is called a dividend and so first I'll tell you 16 is divided by 4 question 16 is divided by 4 so in this case we have to write we have to find out the answer what is the answer we have to find out. so division means this is a symbol so division is this is the pattern of division so this is what we have we have to write division 16 divided by 4 so this is what we have to write this is the right procedure so in this case I told you first term is dividend dividend means what I told you the number which we are dividing is called a dividend so 16 we are going to divide by 4 so this is what dividend d i v i d e n d dividend so the number next is 4 it is a divisor what is this divisor d i v i s o r divisor so the number which divides is called called a divisor the number which divides is called a divisor so we are going to divide 16 by 4 so 4 is the divisor and 6 is a dividend then so we have to uh, tell the fourth table so I told you 4 into 1 is equal to 4 
फोर इंटू टू इज इक्वल टू एट फोर इंटू थ्री इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व फोर इंटू फोर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सो हाउ मेरी टाइम इट कम्स फोर टाइम्स सो फोर इंटू फोर सो फोर द आंसर इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन माइनस सिक्सटीन यू कैन गेट जीरो सो दिस इज यू मस्ट राइट फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ दिस प्लेस दिस इज कॉल्ड एस अ कोशियन कोशियन So I've told you how many times the number is. How many times? How many times the number is dividing is called a quotient. So how many times it goes in fourth table? Four times. Four into four, you can get sixty. That is what. So how many times it goes? Four times. That is a quotient. How many times the number is dividing is called a quotient. And the final is answer. Reminder. Next term is the final term is reminder. The answer is a reminder in this place because there is no number because we can get only zero for this question. The remaining number after division. So after division is over, the remaining number in this place, we in this sum in this place we have only zero. That is what remaining number after division is called. After division is completed, we will get the final answer. Final remaining number it is called as a remainder. Even we can see some other thing. So fifteen is divided by four. Look at this number. Fifteen is divided by four. So again you have to say fourth table. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Then four fours are what sixteen. In this place, four, eight, and twelve. So after to after twelve, you can't four into four is sixteen. But you can't write sixteen because you have to write the number less than the dividend. Less less than the dividend. What is the number is given is called as dividend. I have told you that is what the number which we are dividing is called dividend. So less than fifteen, you have to write it always here. So sixteen, you can't write. You have to write less than fifteen. What is the number is comes? That is twelve. So four threes are four threes are twelve. So you have to put three here. So fifteen minus twelve, you can get five minus two, three. One minus one zero. So you no need to put zero here in this case. So four into three twelve. Then remaining is what three. So this is remainder and this is a quotient. And this is the divisor, d i v i s o r, and this is fifteen that is called as dividend, d i v i d e n d. So the number which we are dividing it is called as dividends, and dividend the number which divides the number which divides is called as divisor, and quotient how many times the number is dividing? How many times the number is doing? Three times in this place. In this place, four times. That is quotient, and the last is a reminder. In this sum, we will get R. Uh, that is of a sixteen divided by four. We can get zero as a reminder. In this case, three is a reminder. So now I think so. You understand the terms of a division. Finally, we will go to the, the major and important formula. That is divisor into quotient plus reminder. We will get dividend. So I just tell you. Important, you can consider this as an important formula. That is, divisor d i v i s o r into quotient q u o t i e n t within the bracket plus r. That is reminder r e a m i n d e r z equal to what will get dividend d i v i d e n d. That is what I've written. So, so I'll tell you divisor. I told you already. It is fifty. For example, twenty is divided by that is three. You can get what you will get question mark. So you have to say the three table. So one three are three, or three ones are three. Whatever you can write. 
थ्री वन झार थ्री थ्री टू झार सिक्स अँड थ्री थ्री झार नाईन अँड थ्री फोर झा ट्वेल्व दॅन थ्री फाय झार फिफ्टीन दॅन थ्री सिक्स झार एटीन सो थ्री इंटू सेवन यू कॅन गेट ट्वेंटी वन सो यू कॅन्ट राईट यू कॅन्ट राईट ट्वेंटी वन बिकॉज यू हॅव टू राईट द नंबर लेस दॅन ट्वेंटी less than the dividend so you can take this number that is 3 into 6 it is called as 80 so 3 into 6 18 you have to write less than the number so 20 18 is less than 20 so now we are going to subtract 0 uh, subtract by a 0 uh, subtract with 8 you can't uh, divide so sorry you can't subtract so you can carry over is a 10 minus 8 you can get 2 here is becomes 1 so 1 minus 1 you can get 0 that is the fraction you know that very well so this is a quotient and this is a what divisor d i v i s o r divisor divisor and this is a dividend and this is the reminder so i'll just tell you we want to check whether the answer is right or wrong so the formula you have to apply so you have to this is only for the checking method what method it is check method that is check check so whatever the answer you quotient in this sum 6 reminder is equal to 3 and divisor is equal to 3 so sorry reminder is 2 and uh, divisor is equal to 3 so divisor what is the divisor whether the answer is whether you find the quotient is right or wrong you have to find you have to find the you sorry you have to write the formula you have to apply in the checking method so divisor is what that is 3 into and quotient what 6 then plus reminder is what 2 is equal to you have to write the answer 3 into 6 that is 18 18 plus 2 what 20 you will get the what dividend 20 because the question is given the question you find out the question if you find out the question your answer that means that means your you uh, that means your answer quotient and the reminder both are correct this is the checking method i'll repeat once again whatever the quotient you will find out whatever the reminder you will find out whether the answer is correct or not you have to use the check method so you have to apply the quotient and uh, the divisor first you have to multiply the divisor with the quotient you add with the reminder if you get the dividend that is a question if you find out the correct question number that is the answer is right that that you that your answer will be correct so 3 into 6 plus 2 you can get 20 so now you have done the correct answer